When a person becomes a Christian, they enter into a new community, a new family, and that becomes their primary identity. The Apostle Paul, when he was writing to the Galatians, he said this, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, you are all one in Christ. Now that might sound like a foolish idea, especially in our, ca- our culture that loves to categorize people. We categorize people based on their income, whether they're rich or poor, on their gender, whether they're male or female, on their race, whether they're black or white, on their sexual identity. And we want to focus so much on these different categories. But as a Christian, we want to focus on the unity that we have in Jesus Christ. Now, this is not a new problem. Paul dealt with this when he was reaching his church in Corinth. They were obsessed about their different classes and categories even when they were having the Lord's Supper. It says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 that when they would gather for the Lord's Supper, the rich people would gather together and go ahead with their own private suppers. They would gobble down their own bread and they would drink so much of their own wine to the point of getting drunk and at the same time, isolating themselves from the poor and neglecting their fellow Christians who are poor in their congregation. And so Paul wanted to teach them how to properly have the Lord's Supper. He says when they gather together, they ought to examine themselves and see this kind of selfishness and self-centeredness. He said that they should discern the body. And what that could mean is the body of believers, those other fellow Christians that are gathered with them. And then he finally says, when you gather to eat this meal, you should all eat it together. You see, Paul said that this seemingly foolish meal, this simple meal of a bread and wine, was actually holy communion that was supposed to create a holy community. As they received the bread and the cup, they were receiving Jesus' body and blood for the forgiveness of sins and they were all becoming one. They all gathered around this table the same. They were all sinful and they were all receiving Jesus' forgiveness. Something similar can happen today. As Christians, we might have many things that divide us. Maybe we have different income levels. Maybe we have different backgrounds or races or genders or different temptations that we're struggling with. But when we gather together as Christians, we become one. And when we take the Lord's Supper, we can become a holy community that creates um, holy communion. And so here's my encouragement to you. Gather together as one. Let holy communion create a holy community. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this simple, seemingly foolish meal of the Lord's Supper. We pray that in a world that is so divided that you would make us all one in Christ Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. Did you enjoy this video? Well, we would love to share with you so much more. Just click here.